Hey, hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. Since he's only just teasing us about step four, it appears as if we are done here. We can head on over. Wait, 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 wait! I guess we can't. <laughs> Be careful, Team GR is strong. Are you sure you know the rules of the Pokemon trading card game? Well, Mint is the one that apparently beat all the club masters and got the legendary Pokemon cards, beat the grandmasters, and uh, I guess Ronald too, but it, uh, um, you, uh, I, uh, y yes. <laughs> so the first thing we're gonna go over and check out is the fighting club. We can't really do much at the fighting club, but I see Ronald is hanging out here. Yo, it isn't Mint! It's more serious than I thought! Every club has been burgled! Team GR doesn't seem to be in this particular club at the moment. I've heard that there's been a sighting in the Rock Club, though. Anyway, I barely have any clubs to duel with as it is. Say, why don't we card pop to get some new cards? Okay, come on, let's card pop and what we get? Well, we're not actually doing a link cable thingy here. Well, it's actually not a link cable, it's an infrared thing on the, the tips of the Game Boy Colors. But anyway, alright, so we line them up. Proverbially, and we get a magneton! Woo! Microwave. Choose <laughs> one of the opponent's Pokemon and play, do 20 damage to it. Do not apply weakness and resistance. And if you get heads, you can discard an energy card. That's a pretty powerful little magneton you got there for that. It's it's a cheaper uh, hyper beam than the dragon air, basically. And he's like, all right, not to save my data. Data saved. In any case, the team GR isn't here. I think that save my data thing was a reminder to the player, but I've been saving it after every part. Anyway, Mint, please go check out the Rock Club. I'll visit the other clubs and gather information about Team GR. Later, Mint. And we're off. <laughs> yeah, there, there's not there's not that many people to talk to or anything like that. We're just gonna go go through these peeps here. I'm Michael, a member of the Fighting Club. Our club master Mitch has been defeated by GR number one. Oh no! All the fighting club cards are also taken by team, team GR. How did Mitch lose to these guys? He had like the most powerful deck out of all the club masters. Jessica told me they're done at the same, uh, done the same at all the other clubs. Now it's impossible for us to fight back against Team GR. I beg you, please defeat GR number one. No. Eh? Don't make me ask again. Okay, fine. <laughs> oh, for real? Thank you very much. Well, you go there. Are you gonna take on GR number one? Well, have a duel with me. If you win, I'll give you a few new cards. Hmm. Okay. Four prize cards. Let's go. <laughs> Hang in there, deck. Remember this guy from the first game? He's got a new deck. Let's beat him. Hopefully. <laughs> We're finally using our starter deck, which, you, as, I, as I saw, you could take a look at it. Elsewhere, but for now, you know, I already got the, I got the cards all memorized and good to go and whatnot. So I'm thinking, I want to plop out Rattata because of its low retreats. Okay, zero retreats. And Growlithe, a Ponyta, and we will call it a turn. Hopefully, he doesn't use a fighting Pokemon that has 20 of the attack points, because that'll knock out Rattata in one shot. But we'll see. Oh, he does! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that Rock Club uses fighting Pokemon because Rock Pokemon are also fighting in the Pokemon trading card game based on the typing. Anyway, <laughs> we're gonna go. Actually, wait, hold on. We're gonna go Bill first before we do anything else. Don't don't jump the gun here. Yeah, I think I'm gonna actually uh, Machop versus Machop it. Free retreat, that Rattata attack with a low kick, and call it a turn. Man, this can go a whole lot faster if you're... <laughs> if you have the text set to a faster. <laughs> yeah, um... So, I'm, pr I'm planning on doing like one to three duels per part, depending on how long it takes and whatnot. I'm, you know, those first two g games are basically just me... Um, getting the ropes all set up, so to speak, you know, it was, it was a whole thing of that. I, I just wanted to teach things as thoroughly as possible so I could mash through things, 
in later parts, because you'll know what I'm doing then. <laughs> you know? So, yeah, not, not, it's like, oh yeah, I know what you're doing, you click to attack, and oh yeah, you got Charmander, you're gonna put that on the bench, aren't you? Yes, I am! <laughs> so, what I'm gonna do here is, uh, uh, do this, and then just to stall, I'm gonna plop a Machoke on there. The, yeah, the background is a little bit weird on that, I think it, I'm not sure if that's intentional or not, but that's always like that with Machoke for some reason, it's got those... Uh, miscolored squares like that, so to speak. I mean, yeah, you can tell that they're definitely um, colored by those size squares. Like, you can see at Machoke's uh, upper shoulder there, there's a little bit of green there from the background, where the colors overlapped. It's sort of the limitations of it, but I don't understand those big black squares. <laughs> anyway... Um, so, now, you'll see with Macho here, it does Karate Chop, 3 energy, but it does 50 minus 10 for each damage counter, so this will only do 10 damage, but the reason why I evolved Macho was because it has more HP, and Submission does 20 damage to itself, so. Anyway, Karate Chop, that will be enough to knock out the Machop. Let's grab that prize card, and have a go. And yes, I have not modified my deck yet with Professor Oak and Energy Removal. I just thought I would use the starter deck as is before I get into the deck modifications that I want to do and stuff like that, so... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just, just, you know, just to sort of give you an idea of what the initial deck is like, you know? Alright, I'm gonna do a potion, and... Oh, actually, Karate Chop will now do 20 times 2, because Pikachu is weak against fighting Pokémon. See that symbol? Yep, 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 yep. Uh, so what I could do if I wanted to is... Give, give, you give this to someone. I was, I'm thinking Growlithe because of the charge. Possibly? Maybe? I mean, I'm tempted for Ponyta, but I'd rather have the Flame Tail, you know, which means any fighting... I mean, not Fire Energy. Rattata? Eh, it's weak against this old deck. <laughs> Charmander is a tempting one, too. I'm thinking... I'll do Charmander. And then I'll Karate Chop Pikachu into submission. Victory for that turn is mine! <laughs> and he's gonna plop out Eevee. Oh, that's also uh, pretty weak to the Machoke there. So, that, unsuccessful, so he couldn't even tail whip me into- OH JEEZ, THAT'S EVEN BETTER! So I can heal up Machoke to do 40 damage, which will do double to Eevee, because Eevee is double weak, net, double weak to the fighting, and uh... Uh... Yeah! <laughs> your karate chop! <laughs> I am playing this like a pro! <laughs> Alright. Pikachu is getting the energy, it's gonna do a Thunder Jolt. And, and he took t took 10 damage, I'm sorry, Pikachu. But that kinda still worked in his favor, because I, I can only do 10 damage. Kinda? Sorta? I mean, yes, there is another way if I get, uh, I was gonna say, if I get another energy card, but actually, I'm kinda... Wait, I, oh, that's right, I had the, oops, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm good here, I can just submission. I was gonna say, yeah, good, yeah, yeah, you get what I'm saying, I didn't realize I had the energy card while I was just mashing through stuff. So submission will cause 20 damage to myself, but it's a guaranteed 60, so 120 in weakness. <laughs> Doesn't really much matter if you take a little bit of scratch damage there, if you get that last prize card, you know? <laughs> so that was a complete sweep. That's partly why I went to the Rock Club first, because, I mean, excuse me, Fighting Club first, is because it's it's like the first beginner area of the game. It's just as strong as I thought. Here, take this. I uh, got the Premier Booster Pack, let's see what we got. Ah, uh, it's Ninetales. Got, you can actually switch stuff with Ninetales, and the Fire Blast, 80 for 4, it's kind of, kind of expensive. But, you might find it to be pretty useful if you can power it up, because it's got a lot of HP to boot, and with that switching power, it can put the opponent in a very awkward spot, especially if you switch in something that has a high retreat cost. Uh, Nidorino, let's see here, uh, oh wait, I already showed that one before, Jinx, you've seen that, Stiffen, prevent all damage if you get a head flip, and the poison powder. Can poison, not too bad. Got a bill, definitely adding that to my deck. Uh, you see, neither and flip tails does nothing. Kind of a risk reward dealio because it's one energy for 30, like far fetched leak slap. 
And uh, no, this is a new one. Rock throw, ten damage. It's like what? What? That's kind of, kind of not that good. Well, actually, you use Onyx as more of a stall card because of Harden. Whenever thirty or less damage is done, the Onyx prevent that damage. So you can use that to stall with his ninety HP pretty well. Uh, and Lightning Energy for the last card. You didn't need any training after all. You're already strong. Well, yeah, I beat. I beat everyone in the other game, and... <laughs> um, you can see all sorts of information over at the bookshelves as well, which maybe I should have showed first. <laughs> you can see this at every club, explaining what those clubs are all about and whatnot. Basically, like their strengths and their weaknesses and whatnot. So... Well, I mean, it, it, I obviously didn't need it against him, but I mean, I probably should have showed this first before doing the duel. And yeah, fighting Pokémon, usually weak to Psychic, unless you're the Crown Rock type fighting. <laughs> but I went through that before, so... And yeah. Anyway! Let's go ahead and flip on over here. Turn on the PC, you can check all your stuff, like your card collection. You can have your deck examined by Dr. Mason if you wanted to. Um, I, I, I suppose, I suppose, um, I, well, you know what, that's a lot to go over, I'm just <laughs> You can also check terminology and stuff like that, you can print out stuff and no, nope, no, nope, no, nope, you can't. It's emulation. <laughs> Alright, so there's that. Um, over here is like the link type area. You can battle other people via link cable, but, uh, <laughs> um, how's that gonna work? <laughs> You can also uh, send deck recipes, receive de yeah, give cards, receive cards, etc, etc. So basically these counters I'll never use at any of the clubs. I like to trade cards, but I'm a little embarrassed about it. No one seems to talk with me, so I've had no opportunity to trade. I'd like to have the rare card hit my only. I don't have that for my new deck. In exchange, I'll trade you a Mewtwo level 60. Oh man! That's a rare one, but I don't have it. <laughs> Uh, no, no, I want. Oops, I wanted to see that last bit of dialogue. Um, guess I could, guess I could ask the other kids, but I'd still feel embarrassed. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Isn't it cool to take things from people? Uh, no, man in a hat. It is not. I mean, it's fun to collect cars. What Team GR has done is wrong. <laughs> I see. You kinda, kinda just misworded that. Did you speak to the guy over there? I was talking with him earlier. It's amazing he still has Pokemon cards to trade with. He's one of the few other older players, like some sort of hero on a TV show. <laughs> Look at that team GR is using some self-made cards in their decks. What? That's cheating! I find that deplorable. Team GR is breaking the rules. You should only use cards that are available to everyone to use. And we're off. <laughs> over here it's empty. <laughs> Very empty. Team GR has taken over the gym, but uh... Well... <laughs> Oops, I'm gonna go over to the Rock Club. Yeah, it's kind of weird to bounce around there with your cursor and stuff like that. And now I'm gonna go into a little bit of deck building here. So you're gonna go to the starter deck, you're gonna view that deck, and you're gonna first notice right off the bat 26 energy cards. I think that's too many. <laughs> Uh, especially since I'm putting in Professor Oak, which will let me draw more cards. It's like, if you place an energy card with a Professor Oak, you're probably going to get more energy cards out of it. So I'm going to just reduce that just a little bit on both ends down to 22. And then I'll be able to tweak our trainer cards here. We're going to go Professor Oak, the bad, bad boy in there. Uh, definitely energy removal. Uh, let's see, definitely put that other bill in there. And, well... I don't know. Uh, maybe I should have the switch in case of Machoke. Just in case. Unless I have something else that I'd like to plop in here. But I think the card card uh, balance is pretty good here. You typically want to have uh, like a gradual progression from basic to higher evolutionary Pokemon with one less. So it's like 4, 3, 2, 1. Starting with the basic 4, and then 3, then 2. Well, I guess there wouldn't be a 1 in that case because. There's no stage 4 Pokemon, but you get what I'm saying! <laughs> so, so I got 2-1, which is good for the evolutions. 2-1, good for the evolutions. Um, I don't really think I would want any of the other ones in my current deck right now, because I won't really be able to utilize them. But I will go ahead and take a peek see through here. Like, see this, uh... See this Onyx? I think I'm gonna plop that in place of... 
uh, whoops, actually, in place of one Diglett, excuse me. And, because that'll allow me to have some stalls, I got some cards from other elements, but since we only have so and so many energy cards, in this case it's fire and fighting, only focus on the fighting, the fire, and the colorless, because colors, colorless can use any kind of energy. And for the rest of this, I don't have a Vulpix, so I can't plop in nine tails or anything like that, and I'm just gonna have to deal with Growlithe and Ponyta without any sort of modifications to that, because I won't have a very balanced deck then. <laughs> Alright, hanging out on this side. Since Team GR took everyone's cards, no one can play cards anymore. It's so boring now, man. And if you want to take a look-see at the Rock Pokemon cards, strong against Electric, weak against Grass. Well, actually, all fighting are strong against Electric based on the typing of Pokemon Trading Card Game. But details. But it, what it means is, I mean, what they mean is that they're resistant to Electric Pokemon, basically, and rely mostly on fighting energy cards, of course, like all sorts of elemental uh, dealios. Yeah, that's that's kind of a problem, but at the same time, their beatdown tactics from the basic Pokemon are pretty pretty effective in their own way, so don't don't uh, don't think that you're out of it if they have a stage 2 Pokemon. <laughs> Especially if, if you have stuff like Plus Power and Defender against your deck. Oh, and yeah, most colorless Pokémon are weak against Fighting-type Pokémon as well. But they might be, um, I mean, certain colorless types, like Flying-types, such as my Spearow, may be resistant to the Fighting-type Pokémon, which can be a problem. I'm so embarrassed, Team GR has taken all my cards! They're supposed to be here right now, fighting the Club Master Gene! Oh, man. Yeah... This is a big problem. Yeah, Gene was like one of the easiest guys in the first game. Like, hello, little dear. Tell me, uh, do you know about Imakuni? I may have heard about him. He's a strange little man who dresses in black tights, you see. He tends to wander aimlessly from club to club on this island. If you find him, challenge him to a duel. You may learn something. So, uh, he appears randomly on this side of each of the duel clubs. But only once every time you boot up the game. So he wasn't here on any of the times that we've seen him yet. But we haven't been to all the other clubs. Anyway, let's continue talking. Snor Snor Snorlax! I mean, I love Snorlax! Hey, you have a Snorlax level 2 card? 20 card? You do! I mean, I have it! Did you all change from my rare Jiggly Buff level 2 for it? That is a rare card, but I have no Snorlax. Oh, I don't want to trade. No, no! Let me know if you ever change your mind, okay? I, I, I will as soon as I can. I, I, they took my cards too! Anyway. <laughs> Let's head on up over to the main hall here. Look at that, Gene. It seems you're about to lose! Oh man, we're about to encounter our first GR member. This place will soon be under the control of Team GR. Oh man. But you see, I'm Gene. I'll show you why they call me the Rock Club Master. Dun, 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 dun. Save yourself the trouble. Fall to your knees and respect me, GR. I mean, respect me. Come on, GR number one. I said that all in one sentence. I should not have. Ah, but you're so inexperienced. I won't do anything of the sorts. <laughs> Impossible. That I, GR number one of Team Great Rocket, would lose. So it seems I failed to capture the Rock Club. I figures that the Rock Club's the only one. Good at defense. <laughs> How did you lose to Gene? He was like the easiest one, the, as I mentioned before. Rock Club member Master Gene, I may be your cheating today, but be warned! I'll return and beat you to a pulp! Team GR away! <laughs> You're Mint. The pupil of Dr. Mason, aren't you? I see, Mint. Team GR has been attacking the eight clubs on this island recently. But I, Gene, have defended the Rock Club like a heart in stone. The other clubs, though, seem to have been taken over. I know you had the power to defeat the Grand Masters once before. Even though... It appears Dr. Mason doesn't remember that, but anyway! Please help all of the other clubs by taking down Team GR. So your cards are taken away. Don't despair, Mint! Feel free to duel the members of the Rock Club to gain some cards back. But I, Gene, have the toughness of a hardened stone! 
I made a deck that makes GR number one's deck look weak in comparison. I ready to fight against Gene the Rock Club Master? I could battle him now, but I would actually like to battle the other beeps first. You can't beat those Team GR guys if you don't duel tough opponents. Come on, show me the power uses to defeat the Grandmasters. I figured that I would, like, go through the the regular duelists before I go to the gym leaders, I guess you could call them. <laughs> so I'm gonna go take, take a look-see over here first. Go old Gene. He's so complacent and reserved. He kept his cool during the duel against GR number one and easily won. It's easy to see why everyone admires him in this club. Hey, why don't we have a duel? I love to practice my own style. Sure, stylish for prize cars. I don't know, it makes it more stylish than other duels of different prize cars, but let's go. It's a stylish fossil deck. Remember him? He used the mysterious fossil. Well, he's got an updated fossily fossilness. And what do we have? We have Professor Oak, and that's all we need to win. <laughs> okay, now we. Professor Oak draws us the cards to it. But details! Let's put Charmander out first because it has one energy for a tackle. Ponyta requires two. And we will call it a beginning. No. <laughs> Opponent goes first. That's a lot of HP there, Rhyhorn. And if it gets heads, it can't attack on the next turn. It did not. That's too bad for you, though, isn't it? I'm gonna definitely do that no matter what, I think. <laughs> uh, I got. Wow, ooh, ooh, double bills. Got two dollar bills. Let's put a mock shop on there and then you scratch. Yeah, I could have maybe. No, I, I couldn't have because I, I started with the Charmander. Yeah, um, if you retreated with Charmander, it would have costed my one energy card per turn anyway. And then I wouldn't have been able to put one on Mop Chop anyway, so might as well just attack with the Charmander. And there's Defensive Onyx on his side. Snorlax! The greatest Pokemon of all time! IMO. <laughs> it cannot be asleep, confused, paralyzed, or poisoned, but it, re it uses a lot of energy cards for it, but its body slam attack. It's a risk reward. Also, it takes four. Uh, energy cards to retreat, the same amount for his Body Slam attack. Although, if Body Slam gets through, it can cause paralysis, which is pretty nice. Uh, I'll give you a little look oops, I wanna give you a little look-see here. Body Slam, 30 damage. Yeah, you get the idea, but yeah, the retreat cost is, uh, 4. <laughs> anyway, I think what I probably should do is... Focus on getting that Machoke raring to go, and just attack for, oh, for fun, I was going to say, but no, I wouldn't even let me. <laughs> I'm not going to use the Professor Oak until I've exhausted my hand. Oh no! That could be a problem! That's kind of a problem! <laughs> uh, that's okay. Uh, we're going to go... Actually, um... How about we do this? Let's do a little trickery here. We're gonna do a potion, because it can only do 30 damage per turn, but it's got 60 HP left. So if I survive my next turn, and Ember this turn, that Rhyhorn will be KO'd, and I don't have any more fighting energy to give for the future Machoke anyway, so I figured, eh, that should be okay. At least I think. <laughs> yeah, let's see, we've got fighting energy. We're gonna, we're gonna go stick with our plan here, though. I think I'm actually just gonna evolve it ahead of time, because I have the Ponyta to stall if I need to, and I also have the Switch Power, if, but I don't think I'll be able to do that, because I'll be, I'll have this, I mean, the Charmander will be knocked out by the end of the next turn, so. Oh, and by the way, we are shuffling our decks this time, by the way, if you didn't realize that, so yes, you are free to shuffle. Shuffle to your heart's content, but only before the game. Unless you search for your deck for something, like via computer search or something, but that's a whole, whole other issue. <laughs> and then damage for the rock, though. That would have been super effective normally in uh, regular Pokemon games, but it is not here, because Charmander is only weak against the water type. Alright, I'm gonna stick with my plan here of uh, stalling out for fighting energy to get Machoke up and running, so... We're done. <laughs> and... Rock Throw. Do your best. It'll, it'll take a while, but do your best. <laughs> uh, ooh, that's actually pretty nice to have a little, little backup there. 
Uh, I'm gonna actually go... I think I'm gonna actually have time to do some decent damage to Onyx, like in uh, Submission into Doom. If at all possible, that would be pretty nice. So I think that would be pretty wise to do before I Professor Oak, because you know I'm going to get an energy card when I Professor Oak, and Macho Oak requires two fighting and one colorless via that star, so yeah, I think I'll do it that way, since I don't have any more fighting anyway and I can afford a couple turns. I mean, there's, there's still three prize cards left in the game, so I can, I can wait things out a little bit even if he gets a couple of prize cards on me. Not a big deal. Back a Ponyta. Um, you know what? I might as well. Yeah, I think it's time. I don't need to use the Switch cards. And yeah. Let's go ahead and give that Fighting Energy there. And by the way, Energy Retrieval is pretty nice. And that you can disc you could discard one of the other cards in your hand. You can get two ba basic energy cards from your discard pile back to your hand. So even when Ponyta's energy cards go to the discard pile, it will be right back to my hand if I discard something else out of here. And I think I'm gonna play Spiro on the bench because it has fighting resistance. Uh, so I can use that to resist stuff just and just peck and wing attack away all day and all night if I wanted to. Um, for now, let's flame tail, and I'll just karate chop Onyx when Onyx inevitably knocks out Ponyta, unless he decides to switch Onyx for something else between turns in anticipation, but the AI is usually not that smart about doing that this early in the game, so, alright, we're gonna get another trade-off here, but it's not gonna be even after that, because, yeah... Macho can do a lot of damage to the critters over there. <laughs> uh, we're gonna go energy retrieval by discarding the mop shop since I got the spare one on the bench anyway. Look at all those beautiful cards to choose from. Look at them. Look at them. I'm gonna put one of these on the other Ponyta. Um, and I guess we shall just karate chop. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else I should be doing that turn. Logically, at least. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. I don't think I'll even bother with the Rattata because the fighting issues that my colorless have. In fact, like, I'm thinking about, aside from the Spearow at least, like removing the other colorless Pokemon from the deck when I can uh, for these battles because, well, as you see, they're weakness and yeah. Alrighty, so he's got an Onyx, and uh, that Onyx is there with a vengeance. I'm gonna just plop that there ahead of time, and I think I'll just Karate Chop first, rather than Submission, because it'll do 40, and then I can finish off with Submission. Alrighty, and Ryorn, Rock Throw, and as you can tell, I, when you know the cards, you can just basically click through things. That's why I, sh I was also showing you various cards earlier on in that. Because uh, then I can just kind of, well, yeah, set things up for the future. And as you see, I got another Macho to power up the powering ups on the bench there, so... If this Macho ends up going the way of the Dodo, well, a passed out Dodo, uh, <laughs> it'll be... It'll be okay, but I have a plan. And there's nothing that he can do to stop it, because I have a gust of wind in my hand. See, with the Gust of Wind, you can use this to swap the opponent's Pokémon of your choosing. Choose a Pokémon to switch with the active Pokémon. I'm gonna swap with that Snorlax. Uh oh! Because <laughs> you see, Snorlax is double weak to fighting. It has 90 HP. I can do 60 damage with the submission. Guess how this is gonna end. <laughs> I might as well just plop everything out here, do the submission, take that little bit of scratch damage. <laughs> Victory is mine! Woo! <laughs> Sorry, Andrew. It was not meant to be. Well, I guess it's my loss. I'll give you a booster pack. It's part of my style. I have no regrets whatsoever. <laughs> I did my best. I have no regrets. Nugget Bridge Kids. Two, 1995 or something on it. <laughs>
your mirror a booster pack. Let's see what we get here. Another Machamp, you know, Eradicate, you've seen that before, you know, the Magic Carbs, you know those, you know, no, no, you know, no, wait, do you know the Meowth? Do you know the Meowth? I think you, yeah, I think I showed the Meowth before. Another Switch, that could be handy. I love a good duel, it helps develop my own style. And with that, I'm gonna end off the part here with two more victories under my belt and a lot of storyline stuff covered. <laughs> so with that, I hope you enjoy, and I will see you in the next part when I battle the rest of the club members and the master.